this video, we will demonstrate how to add subscription functionality to your Tatabase app. With user subscriptions, you can monetize your app by charging your end users on a recurring basis. For example, if you have a job listings app and you'd like to charge a monthly subscription fee for users to post jobs, you can do so with the subscription component. To get started, you'll need a Stripe account as well as subscriptions enabled in your app. Inside your Stripe account, under the Billing section, click on Products to create your first product. Give your product a name and click Create Product. Next, you can add pricing plans for this product. Keep in mind, one product can have multiple pricing plans associated with it. Add your first plan with all the relevant details such as name, price, billing interval, and trial period length if applicable. You can add additional pricing plans if you wish. In our case, We'll add a second plan, which will be billed yearly. We now have two plans, a monthly plan and an annual plan. Next, under the Developers section, click on API Keys. Then, copy the Publisher API Key and Secret Key into the Subscription Settings page of your Tatabase app. You can now see all the plans you added in the Subscription Plans tab by clicking Refresh Plans. Subscriptions work on top of user roles. When a user tries to access a page that's restricted to a role, Tatabase will check to ensure that the user has an active plan that's associated with this role. We therefore need to associate each plan with a user role. We'll do this in user roles by enabling the Stripe subscription on a specific role. We'll then choose which subscription plan should be associated with this role. Now that we've finished setting up our plans and associating them with roles, it's time to give users the ability to sign up. In the page builder, add the subscription component. We'll enable tabs so we can show monthly and annual plans separately. Then we can add the plans to the appropriate tabs. Additionally, you can further customize the information displayed in each plan. Now, when a logged in user visits the subscribe page, they can see all the available subscription options and choose a plan. Once the payment or authorization is successful, the user's role will be updated to match the plan they chose. In this case, the user's role has now been updated to the basic monthly plan. Finally, let's add the My Subscription component to the profile page. This component will enable our subscribed users to see and update their current plan, as well as see and download their invoices. To learn how to restrict your pages and rows by user role, be sure to check out our video on user roles.